Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Bo. I'm broadcasting from Costa Rica, sharing my journey to 1 million error with my startup. I hope you're doing well and staying inspired. This week is packed with some exciting updates and goals. First up, remember review and referral prompt design uh, that I told you about in previous video? Our designer was busy last week, but finally we are wrapping it up, so I will share new designs in this video. This week we will finalize our strategy, we'll prepare some budgeting and projections for next 6 to 8 months. I will be finalizing every scene with my co-founder, and we agreed to finalize it by the end of the week. It's all about setting ourselves up for a successful high season ahead. This morning we received two new testimonials from our customers, and it's hard to explain emotions that I experience, but I am so happy every time I see that we helped some people to save money. It's just mind-blowing. It's hard to express it. So I wish you to have reviews about your business, about your work, because it's so satisfying. Building on that, we recently implemented an automated email sequence with asking people to leave a review. But since we implemented it recently, we have some gap of people of new customers that we haven't asked for a review. So this week I am scheduling an email with asking people to leave a testimonial and offer uh, some incentive for them. On the content front, I will try to proofread at least five articles with the help of a freelancer because we have a scope of like 30 to 40 articles that need to be proofread. So I'll try to do as much as possible and I hope that freelancer will be available this week. And of course, weekend is reserved for some adventure around. I'm planning to hike and explore nature nearby in Costa Rica. For me, there is nothing like nature to clear my mind and inspire new ideas. As usual, by the end of the week, I will share my progress, what I was able to accomplish, what lesson I learned along the way. So let's rock this week. Let me show you my projections for high season, including revenue, expenses, and marketing budget. So, in order to project, I decided to have a target call in terms of revenue 15 to 16,000 MRR, and I decided to calculate how much customers do we need to have in order to have such an MRR, and then how much customers do we need to add every month in order to get to this milestone. I also included 7% churn here, so it's already calculated, but I haven't included any upsells, any other monetization experiments, just because it's hard to predict. Then I estimated our uh, expenses for products, for our service providers, for everything based on how much customers uh, we will have. And uh, my idea is that we will reinvest all of the profits to the next month's marketing budget. So, I estimated how much profit we will have every month, and then how much budget we will have. We also included some lawyers fees that we might have, um, some um, increases in software operations, also office and hire that we will have, everything is included. And then, based on just how much money we have left and how much money we can reinvest, I just split this budget into different activities. It's Google Ads, our second acquisition channel. I decided to increase firstly to 2000 US dollar a month, then to 3000 I also have a budget here for content. Uh, mostly it would be proofreading, maybe just some illustrations. Also, the separate column for content creators and other advertising experiments. And also, we will probably have some affiliate payouts, but it's hard to predict for, for us right now, so we just zero here. And uh, last but not least, Meta Ads, just a retargeting, and I just created a formula that we would spend 15% of all advertising budget to retargeting, so we will have enough budget to remind um, all of these visitors about us, but at the same time, we won't show our ads too often. 
Also, right now we have like around ten thousand dollars in our bank account, but I didn't include it here because it's hard to predict what campaigns will work, what acquisition channels will perform better. So we will have it as a reserve to invest at the point or if we will have some opportunity. Let me show you final version of marketing strategy and channel matrix and also our action plan. So I started all of the activities uh, to have more green in a rows. So we will focus mostly on uh, content and Google search ads, but also we will experiment with some newsletters with some uh, creators. If we would have um, more time, um, we'll also experiment with maybe some tools creation, maybe some researches for sale or some other advertising channels. I also sorted it based on our experience and our resources. For example, calculators is a bit hard for us to build right now. Um, is our website builder, so I just put it down, but maybe we will change our mind. And regarding uh, action plan, I decided not to plan too far in advance because it doesn't make too much sense. I'm trying to find a balance between planning too much and don't have plan at all because I don't think that if you don't have any plan, it's a good idea because you need to have a, some direction, you need to have priorities, you need to have budget for everything. And at the same time, planning too much it just doesn't make any sense because everything change every week every month and sometimes every day so i want to have this flexibility i also don't want to plan too much because i was overwhelmed in a previous year especially i was working full not full time but part time at the time so now i'm using all of these learnings to prepare better so i have action plan only for warm-up season uh, till the end of the this year 2024 because um it doesn't make any sense to plan for january february right now so what we want to do in warm up season is launch uh, google ads new campaigns we already launched a few but we have a lot of ideas and not so big of a budget so we need to split it and test it with iteration because if you test it too much you don't have enough budget for every company and it just doesn't make a lot of sense so we already started to do this i already launched the first campaigns this week then i will write articles how to leave specific states residency because we know uh, that similar articles perform well and we already have a few articles i just want to cover all other states then i want to write at least 10 articles about experts taxes for us in specific countries i have data from some researches about the most popular countries for american to immigrate to so we'll use the most popular countries uh, to write article and guides about we'll spend some time and resources to profit articles in order to have more authority and i believe that we will have more traffic on these articles if we proofread them and then also probably in november um i will start to outreach newsletters different creators to understand how much do they charge for advertising maybe we can work with some of them on affiliate base so from my experience with influencers with creators you need to reach them in advance because not all of them reply immediately also some of them especially the biggest one might be booked for months in a hand, so I want to prepare it as early as possible, so during the peak demand we would be ready to publish all of this content, and maybe we will also use content that they created to advertise our product in TikTok, in Instagram, in Meta Ads. So that's it, that how our marketing strategy and marketing plan look like for this high season. Let me know your thoughts, do you agree or disagree, do you have any ideas how to make it better, or if you have any questions, also let me know in the comments. Let me show you design for our new features, review and referral prompt. We have a to-do flow, it's basically a huge checklist of actions that our customers need to do, so we decided to add and ask about leaving review in the end of the slow 
because we decided that it would be organic and also customers would be happy or not at this point. So we decided to add the screen just with ask for review, incentive and button. Nothing else. Then we will also ask our customers to leave a review on a sidebar after a checklist will be completed and uh, because we have uh, some free real estate here. Uh, the next one is a referral prompt. We are asking our customers to invite their friends or you know, people that they know. And we already got requests about, hey, uh, do you have some referral program? So we also decided to add it. Also, nothing uh, complicated, just an uh, ask and send you some mobile version for the same screen. Um, we also decided to add a separate tab and we just, we call it share and earn with commission, with referrals, with a link copy. We need to polish it a bit to center and to make um, the same size. I just noticed it, but anyway. And then the same, we will ask to invite friends on the sidebar after testimonial request. Yeah, that's how it looks. Let me know in the comments if you know how to make it better. Uh, do you like it or not? I climbed, I am fully dirty just to show you this beautiful lake in a volcano crater. Just look at it. Give this video a thumbs up to support my effort to show you these beautiful views because it was an easy hike. I climbed a lot. I am I slept, I fell a lot just to show you this. As this week comes to the end, I want to reflect on what I've been able to accomplish on challenges and what I failed to achieve. Overall, it was a very productive week. I was able to accomplish everything that I wanted. We also received three testimonials this week, which is amazing. Um, it's a great feeling to read reviews from customers of your product. Also, I finished a marketing strategy, budgeting and projection for high season and we aligned with my business partner on it. So we set up ourselves to a successful high season. I want to be honest here and I don't have a goal to show you just win and success and only bright sides of startup entrepreneurial journey. So I want to share that this week wasn't the brightest for us. I wasn't able to finish five articles proofreading this week because our freelancer wasn't available during this week and that's kind of like a downside of working with freelancer or external specialists. Also this week was a cold shower for us because we didn't have any new customers for 10 days straight and usually we have 3 to 10 customers a week. That was a wake up call for us. We checked if everything is working. We also were rethinking our strategy and approach for high season. We will notice decrease in all of our marketing channels, content, Google ads, everywhere. We have introductionary calls with potential clients. We received a lot of requests from potential customers, but they're just not 
converting now. The slowdown made us rethinking about seasonality in our business because before we were thinking that summer it would be the lowest season but so far July was the best season for our company ever and we also weren't able to learn about seasonality uh, during last year because we were starting from the zero so you don't see a lot of seasonality and spikes because you're just growing from the lowest point so you're just going up it's possible that fall might be a low season for us because in the summer people have more free time to make changes to and now before a tax season it might be a low season for us which is uh, a bit surprising but uh, we are ready to work anyway as I mentioned on this YouTube channel in my first video that entrepreneurship is about waves, you're going up, you're going down, and you need to work through it, you need to enjoy both of the moments. For example, I use these downs, these slow periods to use this energy, sometimes anger, to work more, to launch new experiments. For example, this week, um, we decided to launch new experiments in Google Ads earlier than we expected to do just to make some movements, make some new changes to change this dynamic. So while this week had own challenges, we learned a lot and we continue to push ourselves and we are confident enough that we can achieve our goals even after no new customers for some time. Thanks for tuning in. I need to end this video because it started to rain. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss next video. See you next week.